I've been working on the long wave radio converter and I published quite a few videos during the past days and this is part 5 and of course it uh, does not rely directly to my earlier videos where I have showed this TRF radio setup. Uh, I think it's good also to publish this local oscillator or VFO variable frequency oscillator. Made is a field effect transistor. I was not very enthusiastic about this field effect transistor the BF 256A when I wanted to use it in the front end and finally I used here the very 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 simple BF2 uh, sorry the BC547B that's an NPN bipolar silicon transistor in the first stage and the second stage and when you are interested go to my earlier video and I will give the link. This circuit made a very good, in my opinion, medium wave TRF radio. But I want to focus now on the say first IDs. Here is the mixer that was a first ID and here is the a local oscillator, the VFO, that was also a first ID. So <coughs> I want to publish the schematic. And here it is. And in fact it is very simple. I also published this circuit earlier on my YouTube channel. Uh, though now it was especially made for the, this frequency band and it was made with an other type of field effect transistor. In the earlier circuit I used the BF245A or B or C. The BF245C had the best properties, but anyway. And now I made it with this field effect transistor, the BF256A. And that's here. Here are the pin connections. And <coughs> when you go to the World Wide Web, uh, don't you say the bf 256 with other numbers. So not the B or C type. Be sure that it is a real field effect transistor. And there is kind of confusion on the World Wide Web uh, about this uh, transistor. But this is very important. Use the field effect transistor otherwise your circuit will surely not work. Well, um, there's not so much more to tell. At least we can look at the waveform that's generated. I look now from a certain distance. Nine five one megahertz to one point three megahertz. Sorry, 9.5 kilohertz up to 1.3 megahertz. It works very good. It has a very pure waveform. No problems with that pure sine wave. <coughs> Sorry. So, a uh, very, very good usable in a radio circuit. 
and I'm almost sure that when you connect here an other coil and another tuning capacitor you can get to other frequencies and then I mean especially the higher frequencies perhaps it will not work so good on lower frequencies I have not tested that so uh, kind of uh, first ID, only a first ID, but for higher frequencies I'm almost sure that it will work as a radio oscillator. Here we have the capacitive voltage divider, 1000 picofarad here, 150 picofarad added and here the output. The coil here LX is made in this way. Very easy to make. And well, that was more or less everything to tell. Of course, with an oscillator, you need a stabilized voltage supply. I've made it here with the 7812 chip. Sometimes oscillators don't want to work properly with such a 7812 chip and in that case you have to make a classical series regulator with a Zener diode on its base. Normally that's a Darlington and there are many many circuits on my YouTube channel where I have talked about that and explained that and anyway. So here that coil again, again that sets the frequency that's here and I have quite a bunch of these coils. Important to tell when you take the hood of such a uh, such a unit off and in that hood there is in many cases uh, a kind of ferrite tube uh, with the help of that tube the coil is tuned but when you take it all off you go to a very high frequency uh, not very high but a higher frequency compared to the frequency where that coil was made of. And of course when you take the hood off and that ferrite, uh, that ferrite tube off um, you cannot tune it any longer. But anyway, could be helpful. And I've done that here. And I tune it now not by the ferrite hood but by the tuning capacitor that's here and that's approximately um, 470 picofarad at its best. That's here. So the coil uh, without hood and here that tuning capacitor and I'm more or less absolutely sure that you can get to much higher frequencies with this type of oscillator but important to tell when you want to go to higher frequencies change the value of this capacitor so not 1000 picofarad but perhaps 220 picofarad or 100 picofarad especially when you go want to go when you want to use this circuit as a shortwave radio oscillator. And I've done that many times in the past. Uh, but not the, with a BF256A. But with a BF245. But this field effect transistor has also extremely good properties. And I'm more or less sure that you can get uh, success making radio oscillators on the higher 
shortwave bands, say between 3 MHz and 12 MHz or so. Be sure that it is a field effect transistor. 